Hey, welcome back to James's Repair Shop. It's Sunday, it's actually Father's Day. So, a happy Father's Day to everyone. I hope you have a great day and hope everybody's well. Uh, today, we're working on the Hardtop Thunderbird, 65 Thunderbird. Uh, I've got some wheel bearings to change. Tomorrow's recycle day, so that stuff has to go. So anyway, uh, I'll get that cleared up. We'll get the car brought in the garage, and I'll start doing the rear wheel bearings and see how that goes. There we are, got the drum off. Shoes are in good shape in this car. Decent, I'll be putting them back on. They got a split shoe, which is, a, I've never seen that. Well, probably seen it, but don't remember it. Both sides, the drum's in really good shape, not scored up. Not bad for, well, the last time this was registered on the road was 1982, until now. And this bearing here, it's hard because I'm using it. It's a little loose. So we'll get this axle out. Just uh, four bolts. Anybody that's worked on these already know I'm going to clean this up with some brake cleaner. And then we'll get those four bolts out and it'll release this cap and they'll see if we can get this axle to pop out. I don't have a slide hammer so I'm going to have to come up with another way if I don't, uh, if I can't get it out easily. Well that was quick and simple. Someone's been in here before, and I can tell because they put a different nut on one of the studs and a locking washer, and they're supposed to have this type here. Anyway, it is what it is, and I just grabbed on and pulled it right out and it popped right out, but I, I think this bearing's had the biscuit. She's pretty loose. All right, I'm gonna pull the axle out and see uh, how I'm gonna get this bearing off. Now, probably end up just cutting it with the uh, zip cut and then the retainer collar. But first, before I take it out, I'm gonna make sure my new bearings are the right ones. Probably a good idea before you start cutting it apart. Well, that collar didn't give me much of a fight. I, uh, I could hear it snap, so it's loose there. Now I'll tap it off. I only cut halfway through it, a little better than halfway through, and it cracked right through. So I'll give it a crack, opened up some, slide that out of the way, and then go after the, the bearing race. That bearing was, was pretty much dried right out. No wonder it was, uh, no wonder it was, it was loose. Well, that was pretty quick. That took all about two minutes. Scored it, hit it with the, Hit it with the uh, chisel, same as this one, pop right off, slid it back, and that's ready. I'll clean up this. Now I have to, I don't have any way to press these on. My bench press won't take this axle. So I'm gonna think about it a little bit. I'll probably heat the bearings up with in some hot oil. That's her, she's all back in place. So what I did, I had the bearing, I put it in some new, brand new uh, clean motor oil, new clean motor oil. And I have a little hot plate uh, somewhere here. Anyway, it's on the other side of the fence. We don't need it, just a hot plate. I put the bearing and the collar, both of them in the oil, and brought it up to around 60 degrees Celsius. I didn't want to go any higher than that. That's enough. And just enough to expand the bearing. But you don't want to melt the grease out of it. And then when I slipped the bearing over, I tapped it around because there's a bit of a face inside. 
there's quite a bit of room on this uh, this piece here, right? So I was able to get on with my brass drift, which I need a new one of, and uh, the, seated the bearing down tight, and it's all the way down. You can feel it when it hits. Anybody that's done this, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then uh, for the collar, I put, had it in the oil as well, put it on, then I used the old uh, retaining collar uh, to pound on. Uh, since I don't have a tube to go down over everything, I just use, uh, I had it like that, and I used a sledge holding it down with one side and hit it with the ball peen hammer on the other side. So, and I kept shifting around, moving the, moving around like that, and around like that, and hit on the opposite side with that, and it, it slipped in there pretty good. So that's it, I'll get this back in the car. Don't forget to put this back on before you do it. And that's the orientation of it, because if you do, you'll be cutting that bearing back off. So always put that on as soon as possible before you do any other work. Once you get it all cleaned up, put that back on. All right, let's get her back in the car. There we are, got the second side out, the driver's side out. Now this one was rusted in pretty good, you can see. And this bearing is loose, but it is groggy. I mean, it's loose from, it's not, probably not as bad as the other side, but it's still pretty bad. So I had trouble getting it out. I don't have a slide hammer. So what I did, I put the, one of these nuts on here, nuts that came off it. Again, this, somebody's been in here. And I put it on a couple different spots, like so. Anyway, you get, the, you get the drift. And then I took this uh, actual crowbar. And when it's all in place, you can get this in behind and pop it against the, uh, the wheel flange. Don't pry on the brake part. I started it out with a little pump there and it got it broke free and then I went in and I went like that across the back like that and popped it right out. And if it's in any harder than that, I think if I'll have to go get a slide hammer, but it's out now, so let's get the bearing changed. There we are. Uh, she's uh, it's still got grease in it, but man, that was, uh, that was feeling pretty loose. It was loose from side to side, this one. It wasn't as bad as the first one, though. So that bearing may have been changed uh, not too long before the car was shut down, but hey, I'm changing them again. Um, you don't have to go crazy with the uh, cutting. Just score them through. Just cut down till you see this a gap, a hole in the center. Hit it with a chisel. Do it on both sides. Hit it with a chisel. It'll pop right off. You don't have to take and cut radian right deep. So now I'll get the cage out of there, and uh, we'll get this cut off, and then we'll cut off the the race. Well, that went well. Again, you don't have to take these right down to where you risk hitting the axle. If you score them down two-thirds of the way, and then hit them with the chisel. They'll pop, open right up, pop right off there. See how far, I didn't even go all the way over on that side, so there's no danger of hitting the axle. I've seen people doing it and they're cutting in, and you don't need to. Just get a good score in it, and that stuff's so brittle, once you hit it with a, a good uh, cold chisel, like this one, it's got a good gap on it, it'll pop them right out. All right, let's get this cleaned up, and get the new bearings on it, and put her back in. Well, that looks good. And then uh, you don't need to, like I said before, you don't need to bring that oil up super hot. If it's starting to smoke, that's more, you should back off on it because you don't want to melt the grease out of this thing. Should be high temperature grease in there anyway, but hey, don't risk it. So same procedure. Only thing I did different this time, I put a little uh, assembly grease on it, on the shaft before I put the bearing on. And then when I went after it with the, with, when I went, to put the bearing on, I used the old collar on the bearing as well and did the same thing. It worked really well and the same when I put this new collar back on, the retainer collar. Other than that, she's ready to go back in the car. Don't forget this piece. You'll be cutting it back off. Don't forget. As soon as you clean this piece, put it on the shaft. Otherwise, you're buying a new bearing. Oh. <clears throat> All right, let's get her back in. There she is, she's back together, wheels torqued. I'm gonna take her for a test drive now. I adjusted the brakes up, torqued the wheels to 100 pounds. Hopefully that takes the uh, sound out of the axle. Now, if it didn't, I have to pull the center out. I have a spare center, so 
I'm not too concerned about that. But for now, this will do her. <laughs> 